we're going to check out some of the best topography tools and resources out there for your next website or app. These are definitely worth bookmarking and I'm going to do time steps for every single one of these in the description below. If you guys haven't heard of me before, I'm Adrian from Australia. I do videos around design and development. So if you haven't already hit like and subscribe and we're just going to jump straight into it. Now, trust me, I know what it's like when it comes to picking out a font. This is why when I saw this article here by theme selection and all these resources, I definitely thought it was worth making a video on. Let's take a look at our very first one here, which is, uh, what is our first one? It's Google Fonts. Google Fonts is an awesome tool. It's one that I've always been using for almost every single website I make. There's a huge variety of different fonts and styles here that you can utilize and plug straight into your next website or app. There's the first one here, which is the most popular. It's Roboto, as we all know and love. And this one is simple enough. We simply click on it and we get a preview of all the different weights and styles here. And if we want to use it, we simply select it and click here plus on the styling and select how many different styles we want. Then we can embed it straight into our website through a link as a meta tag or for example, here through CSS as well. What I love using about Roboto here is the fact that we can go in here and type our own sentence, like say Adrian Tuarog does YouTube. In here, we get an example of, oh no, that was the wrong one. Let's paste it here in the sentence section. We get an example of that content in different fonts and we can see what it actually looks like. We can then select a different type of category, such as handwriting over here. And then maybe I want to do a handwritten signature of my name here. And I've got different examples I can select. If, for example, I also need them to have different properties, such as maybe different levels of thickness, I can increase the thickness option over here and we get different styles that have different lots of thickness. And I can even download this font so I can use it locally on my computer. These are just some of the benefits of using Google Fonts and simply the fact that we can copy this link and put it into the head of our website. It makes it really easy to get started using it. Here's our second resource called Da Font. Da Font is awesome because it's a platform that allows us to have lots of free fonts, essentially, which is what we expect. There's a few cool things here that I like about this. This has been a popular website for a long time. It's simple to use. We've got some of the most recent fonts over here that have been added, but we have different types of styles we can select. So for example, if we're going for a foreign Mexican look, here we have really cool ones that we could style for maybe a restaurant or something like that. Or for example, if we wanted a scary theme, we've got lots of horror fonts here that we can grab. These are really easy to use. We can just simply select one, have a quick preview and then download it. Let's jump into our third resource here and have a look at the font squirrel. Yes, you heard that right. This is a website which gives you a heap of really cool fonts. Here you have different types of classifications you can add. Things like, for example, you might want to grab some novelty fonts. And all of these are really cool looking fonts, which are also free and you can start downloading and using. And I've actually even checked their FAQ and they have said that they have no idea why they picked the name Font Squirrel, but they're sort of stuck with it now. So all of the fonts that are on this website are worth checking out. It's just a really cool place to look through if you're looking for a good font for your next website or app. There's also a really cool tool on this website called the Font Identifier, where you can drag and drop an image in here and you can find out exactly what font they're using there. So I might give this a shot right now. Let's actually take a quick screenshot of the Font Identifier font and paste this in here and see if it actually comes up with something cool. We'll, uh, we'll click to upload it and let's browse into this one over here. We'll upload the font and and it couldn't identify its own font. Well, that's too sad. I guess we couldn't rely on this one too much, but I'm guessing there's probably situations where it might work. So give it a shot and tell me how you guys go with it at least. The fourth one here on our list is Font Fabric. This is a website which focuses on really high quality fonts that are used by maybe really high class companies, such as maybe, let's have a look here, Nike and Hyundai and CNET and stuff like that. If we have a look at this website, it does look pretty cool. I do like it. And we get a couple of options here where we can browse through different fonts. Something to note though here is that this is a collection of both free and paid fonts. 
So if you're going to jump in here, it's really good to browse into the free fonts category where we can pick out different options, such as the intro font over here. This has 72 styles, which is quite a few. But if you want all the styles, you will have to buy the font. The free version will only come in with limited functionality, so to speak. So check out Font Fabric if you want something a little bit more interesting for your fonts. If you want to see where some of these fonts have actually been used, they do have a fonts in use page where they give an example of just some of the high class usage of their fonts and how they've been utilized. Like in Lipton Iced Tea, which is something that I do, in fact, drink sometimes. Our fifth website here is called Fonts Arena. This website is a little bit different in the fact that it focuses in on high quality fonts. There are some good and bad things about this. Of course, I love seeing good looking fonts. There is nothing better than having a good font on a website. Unfortunately, since these are premium fonts, you're not going to get all the options available. For example, you might only get a single style. And if you want to purchase the rest of them, you will have to purchase the full font pack. At least you do get one style and you can test it out to see if it'll work on the website. And some of them might just come with all the styles available. So this is a cool website worth checking out if you want some of that higher quality kind of font. If you're looking for something which is more hand selected, ones that are really good fonts that you can check out immediately and you don't have to look through dozens, hundreds, millions of fonts on say another website. Then there's this one here called Use Modified. Use Modified is a website which has already picked out some good fonts for you. You can check out the different weights, the different styles, whether it has italics or not. And from here, you might get some really cool looking fonts. This also has quite a few pages in it. But since we've already picked out some cool looking fonts here, we don't have to go through everything. We can select out some styles here at the top. For example, we might want to grab something that looks like a 90s font. And here we have a really cool one already. Or instead, we could have a look at maybe the light version or the dark version of that font. Or even if we wanted to go back all the way to the 70s, we can have a look at some 70s fonts too. This website is nice and simple to use with some really quick searching. And in general, it works really simply. We can check out the different sizes. We can check out the different styles. We've got all our licensing in here as well as up authors as well. And if you do want to pick out a font, you've got the external link straight into GitHub as well, if you want to be able to access that. Our seventh entry here is Open Foundry. This is a website which sort of does the fonts in a slightly different fashion. It allows you to see them on different backgrounds with maybe images and overlays so that you get to see your font in action. Sometimes when you do a font and you put it over a picture, it just looks terrible. At least in this case, you can see if it does look good or bad. And you can still vary it across with maybe the height and the kerneling, or you could even give the font a bit of a different color and see how it works. Once you pick out a font that you like, you can see a few more examples of what it looks like in different situations, as well as then download it nice and simply here at the very bottom. If one or two fonts aren't good enough for you and you need lots more, there is 1001 free fonts available here at the website. 1001 free fonts. This is similar to other ones we've seen in the past with lots of different categories here that we can select from. They have a combination of both free and paid fonts and we can see them in practice in the ones where maybe they're free we can donate to the designer where are some of the commercial ones we can buy a commercial license to use. This is a quick and simple website to utilize if you are looking for font packages. So it's worth checking out and there's quite a few different styles here that are pretty cool as well. Abstract fonts is our ninth entry here. This is a website which has some really popular font types. Things like, for example, the Walt Disney script or even maybe the Skyfall font over here. If you're looking for a specific theme or you're putting a fun poster together, maybe you want to create a style very similar to that theme. You'll be able to grab the font over here and apply it. And it's got some examples of what that might look like too. So this is a pretty cool website and you can hit download and immediately get that font. Sometimes you might need to have fonts from different languages or styles that are completely outside of the regular A, B and C's. Arabic fonts is a website that essentially does that. You can have a look at them and they've got lots of different styles as well as popular ones and top rated ones. And it's just something different in case you do need to get something outside of the regular English fonts that we normally work with. 
These topography resources and tools are just the first 10 in a huge list compiled by Theme Selector, so definitely give him a follow and check out his article in the description below. Otherwise, I've also done a video on the best color assets as well as the best design assets that developers should use and bookmark. So I'll link those in the description as well as add them somewhere up here for you guys to check out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys hit like, subscribe, follow, comment, and all of that jazz. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.